CataractCoach.com. Four simultaneous camera angles. The microscope view, an external view, the machine parameters, and even the foot pedal. Listen carefully, we even have audio. Now our operating guest surgeon here is Dr. Andre Berger from Brazil. So of course the audio is going to be in Portuguese there on the background. And you can see starting off the case by using a double blade technique. So fixating the eye with that left hand for the paradisis and making the keratome incision at the same time. Now Dr. Berger is a fantastic surgeon. We've had his videos here on Cataract Coach before. I've learned a lot from him. And we can see here, we're gonna be able to see the microscope view and the external view a video of his phaco parameters and even his foot pedal all at the same time. So a lot of great learning here. Now tripan blue dye went inside the eye. You can see the surgeon is sitting superiorly. And after the tripan, here comes some viscoelastic, some sort of dispersive viscoelastic probably. There you go. And he'll get his rexus done and get going. Now by learning from these four angles, you can see his approach to the instruments. Look at the middle uh, frame on the right hand side, you can see how the instruments are positioned in the eye. Notice how he's holding both instruments, right and left hand, like a pencil. So fixating the eye with a chopper to give it some stability, while the right hand uses the caps rexus forceps to create that five millimeter rexus. That looks great. And in the bottom right corner of your screen, you can see that he doesn't have his foot on the foot pedal yet. Now look at his BSS cannula, look how important that is. He does what I do also, a lot of surgeons do this, hold the hub of the needle or the cannula. You don't want it to shoot off inside the eye. So you always have that hub being held. Look at that inset fit photo there on the right, the video. That's key. Very subtle, but very important. More viscoelastic going in, again, holding the hub. Now he's positioning his foot on the foot pedal, getting comfortable. Chopper going in, lift the incision, probe inside the eye. And he's gonna start off by removing some anterior lens material and then really rotating that nucleus around. Look at that rotation. Brazilian style, I love it, fantastic. Now he's gonna to try to buzz it here to the nucleus, but something's not quite right. The setting's not right, so he's gonna, or the tip's not set up appropriately. He'll come out of the eye and get that set up appropriately, or change his phaco parameters, you saw that. Now he's good to go. So let's see, buzzing in with the phaco probe, getting a good purchase on the nucleus, chopper going around, a nice clean horizontal chop, there it is. And notice the chop didn't propagate all the way through. That's okay because he's gonna make quadrants out of it. So very nice technique. Notice how the eye stays in primary. At the beginning of the case, the incisions were made very quickly, but look how perfect they are. They look fantastic. Great tunnel length, very even, very well done. And so look at the right foot on the phaco pedal too, bottom right corner screen. Notice how he's just dialing it in little by little. He's not going on or off, he does it like you drive your car. You give a little bit of pressure on the accelerator, or a lot, but you don't come on and off it. And that's what he's doing beautifully. So look how he modulates his foot there to give energy only when he has the occlusion. And his machine makes that no noise of eh, eh, eh. That's the noise of occlusion for his machine. So he knows when it's occluded, give more energy. And how he dials that in with his foot, that is key. So here come the last bits of the nucleus coming out of the eye. Again, modulating that foot pedal. Notice how the foot pedal is a little more gas, a little less gas. A little bit more on the pedal, a little bit less on the pedal. Well, it's not really gas, but it's like driving a car, so I use, use the analogy. But you can see he's doing a beautiful job. Last piece coming up, chopper in the safe position, switching over to IA. You see what he did with his foot? He used his foot pedal to switch over to the next mode. So you wanna do this as well. So now he's got his IA probe coming in, and look how he holds it. He's holding the IA probe with a two-handed approach to give extra stability, to clean up all that cortex. Very efficient surgery here, cleaning up very nicely. And now you can see, again, modulating the amount of vacuum he does with that foot pedal. Foot pedal goes up and down. Remember, the foot pedal, like driving your car, it's a gradient of a, the amount of vacuum or ultrasonic power, power you're gonna give. It's not an on-off switch. So that's a common mistake that residents make is they go on and off the pedal. Think about driving in a parking lot. You wanna drive, giving a little bit of, on the accelerator or a little bit more, but you don't wanna go on and off it. Here comes the lens going in the capture bag. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens, nicely delivered. And then watch how he delivers that inside the capture bag and centers up the lens, that looks great. 
And you can imagine this case is going to be over pretty soon. So nice position on that lens. Time, go, time to go in with the higher vacuum. Look at the panel here, 450 of vacuum, and also a lot more flow. 40 cc's a minute of flow to really wash out that viscoelastic from the eye. And he's doing a good job there getting that lens rotated around and making sure there's no trap viscoelastic. Again, watch his foot pedal, bottom right corner. Modulating the amount of vacuum he's giving. Modulating it up and down, gently controlling it very carefully. At the end of the case here, again, sealing up the incision. Look at the right side of the screen, how he holds the hub of the cannula. Very important so it doesn't shoot off into the eye. Nice sealing of the incisions. And that's a beautiful case. So a very efficient case. Obviously, he's a, a very talented surgeon. But it's very good to learn from these four camera angles. There's so much to be learned. So there you go, checking the pressure at the end of the case here. And let's see what we're going to do to wrap it up. Perhaps putting some medicine inside the eye, maybe some antibiotics or anti-inflammatory, sometimes a, a meiotic agent. And then checking everything. Here comes a, a, a cotton swab to check, make sure the incisions are watertight. And that looks fantastic. So four camera angles, what great learning. Thank you, Dr. Berger. What a beautiful case. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the learning experience. Thanks for watching.